Hello fellow aviators, grab some coffee and join us in celebrating these amazing accomplishments in aviation by builders and pilots. Welcome to Katie's Report. All right, I have some exciting news for y'all today. The very first Rotax 915 turbo engine to be installed in a just aircraft super stole has flown. That's right, Chris Grewan over at Stola Aircraft recently shared with us some of the details and the first flight of this brand new aircraft. Why don't you tell us about it, Chris? Hey Katie, this is Chris in Fair Play, South Carolina. Um, we're gonna give you a quick tour of my new Super Stole 915. Um, we're gonna give you a little quick tour and give you all the highlights. Okay, so we powered this with a new Rotax 915 turbocharged engine. Um, produces about 140 horsepower. This is one of the first, well it is the first Super Stole that we did or anybody's done with a 915. A little bit of a challenge, but it's been fun. I've got about 20 hours on it so far. It is a monster. It flies really well. Haven't had any issues with it. It weighs in also, oddly enough, at 915 pounds. So it balances out really well. It performs phenomenal. Um, so as you can see, it sits pretty high. Nothing really changed about this regular standard part of the Super Stool. Um, everything else works out well. We did have to shift some of the weight to the back to get it working with the CG. So we took a 25 pound battery and put it all the way to the tail to get the CG to work so we didn't have to add any additional weight, tail weight. That's about the only thing we had to do to get the CG to work. Um, we added a few other discomfort features. Some side panels with glass in it, um, which just gives us a little bit better visibility. I kept my cowling really, really low to give us some over the nose visibility. Um, and just we did a little bit of a custom panel and dashboard to keep the visibility really well too. As you all know, there are many options out there for instruments and avionics. Chris, can you tell us what you chose to use in your Super Soul? So we got um, a Dynon HDX 10 inch a, uh, panel in this thing, um, all touch screen. We also have the RS flight systems control panel. So it's a single lever, constant speed prop system. So there's no prop control that you can see. As you push in on the prop, on the uh, throttle, it automatically dials in the pitch of the prop. So uh, hopefully one of these days, Light Sport's gonna approve that. It's known to be coming up the pike so hopefully one day that'll be approved that's going to make it easy for the pilot so that's going to be really good hopefully that gets approved here someday one of the greatest advantages of building in the experimental class of aircraft is to customize where you see necessary chris what are some options that you customize on your aircraft on this panel we did a little bit of um some backlighting which a lot of you know was just one of the neat things that we did i'm going to go ahead i'll turn this on I'll climb up here so you can kind of see it so we did some backlighting on our switches our switches are backlit a little bit of under dash lighting here which is a little bit of creature comfort type stuff and we also did a little bit of back baggage area lighting right here too I'll go ahead and pop that on. And just a little bit of backlighting. So the Just Aircraft is in fact a fabric airplane. What system did you use for the paint and fabric and what inspired you to make the paint scheme? So we did um, Stewart systems for the covering system on this and then we used um, Superflight paint on top of it so Stewart Systems usually likes to us to use their own paint on top but we did a kind of a combination on what we did I like using uh, Superflight paint works a little bit better but I do like Stewart System because it's a eco based friendly glue so that worked a little bit better for us so well, the paint scheme so my wife picked this out it's a uh, yes we live in South Carolina and everybody's big Clemson fans here we live about um, 10 miles from the, the college my wife decided to go with Clemson colors, so you know if this plane ever comes for sale, she'll park it over there and it'll sell in about five minutes, I think. Because <laughs> you know my wife, she's always about selling them, not keeping them. You know, stolen aircraft, we make them, we don't get to keep them. And now for the most exciting part of anyone's project getting completed, the first flight. Chris, can you share with us the experience of having flown your nine? The heck with it, I'm just gonna read the script. 
Chris, can you share with us the experience of having flown this Rotax 915 powered Super Stoll for the first time? Okay, so I'm um, getting ready for the first flight of this airplane. We've done a lot of Super Stoles obviously over the years, um, but this being the first 915, you know, a lot of times we'll just build a Super Stoll and fly it right out of the yard or fly it right out of just aircraft or you know basically anywhere we build it this one being a 915 and a lot of new options we decided to put it on a trailer take it out to clemson and do it somewhere with a long runway and a lot of safe options which we did and it was obviously a good thing because we did have a few little minor issues nothing that was unsafe but it, we were glad we did that so um we did a couple of crow hops with it and Man, I tell you, when we, this thing has a lot of power, and when we finally got to unleash it and do a real takeoff with it, it came uncorked, and it is a lot of power for this airplane. It it just it climbs like you wouldn't believe. It it just it has a lot of power. All right, I'm gonna take a few more sips of my coffee before I introduce you to our sponsors who made all of this possible. Introducing Dynon Avionics at Dynon Avionics. Dot com. Air Tech Coatings at airtechcoatings.com. Avionation at avionationusa.com. Airworks at airworksaviation.com. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library, arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products aviation merchandise, and so much more. Find clickable links below to our sponsors and special offers available to you. If you like these videos that we're producing weekly, hit that like button and do all the things so you don't miss a single episode. So when we did first flight with it, real first flight, this plane does about, I got it up to about 125 miles an hour at cruise. Um, with with real ease and still on break in we haven't really unleashed it all the way so i'm expecting real good things we've seen you know 12 to 1800 foot a minute climbs um flight as slow as you know 25 28 mile an hour in slow flight and we're just still experiencing what we can do with it and we're in real slow you know 20 20 hours with it so far so Whoa, that new Rotax 915 Turbo is really quiet, right? Thank you guys, appreciate it. Not a problem. Congratulations, Chris, on getting your aircraft completed and flown for the first time. Chris tells us that he's entering his aircraft in this year's Arkansas competition in Ozark, Arkansas, and plans to compete for first place. And we, yes, all of us in the Munchkins too, plan to be there this year at Arkansas to meet you in person. So if Arkansas isn't on your calendar yet, be sure to put it there. The events are September 29th through October 3rd of 2021. We would love to hear about your recent completions and first flights. We believe that it really helps builders stay engaged and motivated on their own projects. Contact me at info at experimentalaircraftchannel.com to learn more. 
Thanks for watching this week's episode. Please consider becoming a subscriber and also hit that like button while you're at it. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to connect socially. I'll see you in the next episode here on the Experimental Aircraft Channel.